Good morning. Today is May 21st, and on your calendar it may be identified as the Ascension of the Lord. Uh, it is an ecumenical or, or universal, universally celebrated feast uh, in the Christian churches of, of the world. Um, it's usually identified on the 40th day of Easter. Um, some denominations, however, have moved this observance of this holiday to the Sunday following uh, this date. Uh, in the Catholic Church, this was done in 1999. Uh, the trend towards moving um, these obligations to uh, Sundays had to do very simply with uh, encouraging more Christians to observe the feast by attending on Sundays. Uh, in Lansing, uh, we are one of the provinces that made this choice. Uh, however, there are six other provinces within the United States that still celebrate on the Thursday, um, which would be today, and I think that's why it appears on calendars still. I'm going to read the Gospel to you because it will uh, maybe make more sense uh, as we go through this of what I am referring to. Jesus said to his disciples, A little while and you will no longer see me, and again a little while later and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he is saying to us? A little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me. And because I am going to the Father, so they said, What is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Are you discussing with one another that I said, A little while, and you will not see me? And again, a little while, and you will see me. Amen, amen, I say to you, You will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve but your grief will become joy. Now that is a bit of a tongue twister uh, as we refer to you will see me and you will not see me. And Jesus does not answer them as you can see but he rather invites them, invites them to trust him. Uh, Jesus wants uh, to say um, the con the con the condition, his condition, still exists that you can see me. That is really the piece that you should pay attention to. Um, recognizing that um, seeing him in the flesh is something that later on they are not going to be able to do uh, because um, he will be in a different vision. He will uh, show himself as transformed when he returns. So. Um, at this point, the disciples are feeling alone uh, in the world, but the world around them is rejoicing in the death of Jesus. And again, he refers to that. However, he assures them that this sadness is going to change to joy. How do you feel right now in the absence of your church? Uh, Jesus is with you. You do not have to be concerned uh, that he, he will never leave you. However, you are not able to come to your church and that absence makes you feel, makes us feel lonely. Um, without our assembly, without you, this is just a building and we um, anticipate the day when we'll be able to be back together again. Uh, we will rejoice in joy. However, we know that that time is going to be different. Um, we are not going to be able to hug and shake hands and um, be as close, perhaps, as we have in the past. So there will be a change in uh, our um, gathering. What are um, various ways that we see him and or, or not see him? Have, have you had situations in your life where that may have occurred? where a family member has been away and then they return. How do you um, respond to that absence? Do you greet that person with joy and, and thanksgiving for seeing them? Uh, do you 
um, renew that relationship or does it continue to be a lukewarm relationship? Do you uh, get upset because you haven't seen them for a while? That's sometimes what we do with children. Uh, a child steps away for a while and we get nervous and all worked up and we're so relieved when we find them. However, once we are done hugging them and being thankful, we then light into them with, um, where have you been, don't ever do that again. So our relationships can change from moment to moment. Um, we are all um, hoping to renew and strengthen our relationships with each other and with our Lord as we come together in church. I want to read to you a, a prayer that I think is certainly specific to this situation of absence. Um, absence does make the heart grow fonder. Lord God, our Father, you are not far away from any of us, for in you we live and move and exist, and you live in us through your Holy Spirit. Be with us indeed, Lord. Send us your Holy Spirit of truth and through him deepen our understanding of the life and message of your Son, that we may accept the full truth and live by it consistently. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you and be safe.